Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, we're going to use a plant hopper plugin to produce a series of cures in Grasshopper. So be sure to watch the video till the end. We're going to talk about the different inputs. And as you can see here, we're going to talk about uh, how we can produce different results and different gears in Grasshopper. Uh, okay, to get started from scratch, uh, what we want to do here is to install the Plant Hopper plugin. Uh, be sure to put it in the File Special Folder Components folder and also right click on, on the plugin, uh, go to Properties and hit the Unblock if you see anything here and apply and restart your Rhino Grasshopper. Uh, so what I wanted to do here is to first use this uh, construct gear component which is really great and as you can see here uh, we have a default plane which is the XY plane and uh, we can change that maybe we want to put that into XC plane so I'm going to put that in the XC plane uh, if we want to change the origin we can just right click and extract the parameter and move it around okay so that is the first input the second input is uh, the tooth width. Uh, I'm going to give a number slider to this. So let's just change it as you can see here. This is going to be uh, somehow the length of the tooth uh, which is going to be for the gears. Okay. Uh, the next thing we can control is the pressure angle. As you can see here uh, the default is uh, uh, it's based on radians, uh, but as you can see it says between 10 and uh, 35 degrees and the standard values are these things. If you don't want to change that, you can just uh, go to the next one. But for now, what I want to do is to right click and put a degrees on this. So it's going to be converted into degrees. And let's say the, uh, the angle is between 10 and 35. So I'm going to give it to here and as you can see here by changing this uh, you can also change the gear uh, the next uh, the two inputs are addendum and uh, dedendum so as you can see here it says that the default is like the width uh, multiplied by two divided by the number of the uh, tooth so what we want to do here uh, is to go to the math and multiply the tooth here between zero and one this is also uh, true for the dedendum, so I'm going to give it to here. As you can see here, if we put it to zero, it's going to be a complete circle. Uh, if I change this, this is going to be the added part of the gear, and this is going to be the lower part. Okay, so by changing these, you can see that how we can produce different results. Uh, the next one is the count, obviously. We can Put that to 3 to maybe 20 and give it to the count. And as you can see here, uh, we can change the number of the tooth here. Okay, the next input is the hole. And as you can see here, if you put 0 to this, it's going to be give nothing to the uh, hole. So I'm going to start with 0 to maybe 10. If I put it to zero, it's going to be a complete gear. And if I increase that, if it's too much, it's going to completely go back to the uh, complete gear. So also uh, be aware of how much you're going to give the offset for the hole. Okay, whatever you do here is uh, the second part is the rotation and type also is important. Uh, for the rotation, it's basically in radians. So if I want to make it in degrees. Uh, unfortunately, if you right click here and put it into degrees, it's not going to work. For example, if I say 0 to 90 degrees, this is going to rotate it too much. Uh, so don't work with the rotation degrees, just put a, a degrees here. Oh, sorry, you have to give it a radian, which is going to convert the degrees into radians and then give it to the rotation. Now you can see that you can rotate that 90 degrees, for example. And obviously this can be like 360 degrees if you want to have a complete turn. And uh, the last thing we can give here is the type. So if I right click, you can say it's an axle which is going to go inside the hole, which we don't have now. For the second one, we have to choose that. And also the internal, which you can see that this is going to 
make a gear which the other gear is going to go inside for the first one obviously we will want an uh, external which is going to be also the driver uh, of the gears uh, before we give a, a timer to this which it can make a rotation a complete rotation uh, the degree I mean uh, what I wanted to do is to also talk about deconstruct gear which is a good tool here if you want to uh, talk about different parts of the gear the first one is the curve which we can use in our project uh, the type is like external whatever the count uh, of the number of teeth if we want to use it uh, the plane of the uh, the gear so if i connect the curve to the dendum circle as you can see here you can see that the bottom circle is here uh, then we have two circles the pitch circle and the base circle and this is going to control the overall shape of the uh, tooth so after we have this deconstruct gear we can also rotate it by a timer so i'm going to uh, make a timer so this rotates without me trying to change this number slider uh, we can go to the utility first of all we have to use the trigger component so if I make a number slider between 0 and like 10 with two decimals, this is going to be the timer speed, so I can change that. Uh, uh, the next part is to if you just put this number to it's connected here and uh, connect this trigger to the number slider, the number container. This is going to update this number like one milliseconds. Uh, then what we want to do is to record the data. So I'm going to go to utility and use the data recorder. So let's just give this here. And if I connect a panel, you can see that this is actually recording all of this number slider. Just we have to add it up. So I'm going to go to the math and use this mass addition. Get the result here. And now you can see that we have this changing. We can also change the number slider to produce different results. Okay, now that we have this, we can give it to the degrees and this is going to rotate I'm going to record it from start this is going to be the speed and that's it that's how you can make the gear uh, run uh, the next thing i want to explain is how can we visualize this if we deconstruct the gear and get the curve from the output and assume that we don't have the hole. Uh, if you want to produce the hole, the tricky part here, it doesn't have the whole circle, okay? So if I just connect all the circles here, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the circle at here. So what you want to do is to simply go to the curve and use this circle in the plane, and the radius is going to be obviously the hole I'm going to give that to the radius and now you will have these two okay now that we have the base gear how can we produce a, a follower or a child gear using this uh, plant hopper plugin uh, the most important thing is if you uh, right click here you can turn on the preview mesh on or off uh, also if you go to the params menu and connect a mesh to the gear you can see that you will have the base mesh and if you want to extrude it you can use the uh, pufferfish plugin mesh and use this offset mesh component give it here because it's just not stable what I want to do is to define a distance and give it to the distance on both side uh, the positive distance is going to be x divided by 2 and the both side is going to be minus x divided by 2 this is going to help you to have a stable results what's happening here if you look at the uh, from the top this is the gear and we're going to give it a thickness of t so what you have to do is to give it a t divided by 2 in the positive direction and minus t divided by 2 in the negative direction to have the complete thickness uh, okay 
as you can see here we have the mesh also like that okay now that we have the base gear we can go to child gear and connect it to the parent input uh, you can right click and use the type internal uh, first we have to give it a more count because it's going to rotate inside this so I'm going to increase the count and then we can also control the angle right click and use the degrees and that's obviously between 0 and 360 degrees and you can rotate it like this so now if we want to add another one we can add another child gear to this one and again change the degrees and the angle and also the count and we can increase the speed we can make that happen okay and the last thing i wanted to explain is that if you increase the whole size you can give it a thickness something like that and produce the final results and the last thing i wanted to explain is that if you connect the child gear to here as you can see here it's going to be a complete connection and a number of counts you can increase decrease that and if you want to add another gear inside this you can add a child gear to this one and say it's axle and obviously number of counts can be control here uh, to this time if we want to give it a thickness if we give it both uh, the same uh, negative positive distance it's going to intersect right so if you want to fix that what you have to do is to bring these three gears turn everything off you can use that offset mesh component and remember that if it's a thickness we can say 2.25 for example it's from minus x divided by 2 to x divided by 2 I'm going to use that same for this one and to fix this mesh what we have to do is to move it in the y direction for example and the same as the thickness uh, this is going to help us to assume if it's in which direction if you give it the plus it's going to go this way if I make it a minus X it's going to go here and then we just give the thickness to this and you can see that this is going to also give you the final results turn everything off and we can give color Okay, you can give colors to the gears and that's it you can produce the final results okay thanks for watching uh, i hope this tutorial was useful remember to like and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel and see you next time bye